I've done most of the things that I've done. This is James, and he's uh, applying for a games job. Games? Oh, great. Uh, Good. Let's get you set up. Actually, Bobby, I prefer a rides job if it's still open. I think you look more like a games guy, plus I got at the games okay. application. So, uh, okay. all right, yeah, no, I my name is Bobby. OK, rules. No freebies, no free turns for your friends, no free upgrades, no free food. So just nothing is free here. Uh, everybody has to pay for everything. And more importantly, uh, working in games, no one ever wins a giant panda. We don't have that many left. Cool. Can you give me a t-shirt, please? Here, I have a resume. I don't know if you still want to take a look at it. Um, uh, James, am I pronouncing that right? James? James? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, by accepting this t-shirt, you are... Hired. Well, Sorry. usually a... More of a ceremonial thing. It's just like a different, the cap on. different, different <laughs> style of acting. You know, what I mean? it's like a different kind of way of performing, which um, and I like them both a lot. But I do like the quick kind of weird aside. I like how Kristen's character doesn't understand like, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't understand anything. You know, like when you and said, when she's mouthing everything you're saying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's he does this for her at home in the bedroom. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, gosh, different in many ways. Um, SNL so quick, and you start on Monday with no show, mm -hmm. and you end up Saturday with the full show. Mm -hmm. And it's writing and rehearsing, and it's the schedule is insane. Mm -hmm. And and also with the movie, not only just the schedule being different, but we were saying like you're playing this one character for four days. Mm -hmm. That's also a little different mm -hmm. than playing it for you know. Four minutes. Yeah. So you have to like the character a little more too, because then you're like, all right, I have to be this person for four this, days. I'm gonna live with this guy for a while. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to annoy the crew. Um, it's yeah. a yeah, it's a different, it's, it's a different, different muscle. Completely. It's a different, totally different thing. You just kind of, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this is a different thing, but the same at the same time. It's weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How's that for an answer? It's different, but the same. <laughs> Did you grow up working for anyone like this couple in any theme parks or Burger Kings or... Uh, <laughs> or no, not. Cinna, even or that Red Bull, article. or Hyatt Resort, or Disney or Starbucks, <laughs> or Big, Big, or Olympus, <laughs> or Potato Chips, Cannon. or Rockstar, <laughs> or Kettle. Starbucks. <laughs> um, you worked for the mall. <laughs> yeah, no, I. Uh, I worked I, in the mall once. You worked in a mall. I worked at Limited Express. Oh my god. When I was a young gal, it young was one gal. of my first like well, jobs where I had to like dress up. Because <laughs> all the other jobs were like, I worked in a bakery and like a yeah, pizza place. It's like I'm going to work and I'm wearing an outfit. Yeah, you had to like actually put on nice. <laughs> I worked at a my first real job. I guess was I sell I sold Christmas trees when I was twelve for it's the extra money and then I did that till I was 15 and then I bagged groceries and I also worked at the first borders ever in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Really? <laughs> yeah. And a woman got mad at me because I took her parking space one time in a snowstorm and I couldn't see that a woman was waiting for the parking space and I just pulled in and then she waited in line like this big line of people and I'm like checking people out and I look up and this woman is just staring at me like <laughs> and she moved up and she was like and someone else was there and he's like no I'm waiting for him. And then she came up to me, she's like, I want, I want you to know what you did it was socially irresponsible. And I go, I don't, what did I do? She goes, you took my place. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, okay, do you want to buy anything? She went, no. And I go, well, then why are you coming here? And she goes, I don't remember. <laughs> <Walked away. laughs> well, the script was great. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of both. It's like we went by the script and he let us go. With yeah. the script. He would like kind of watch this with the script and say, okay, that's good. Like a good example, an example I keep bringing up is when the scene where I um, take over the horse racing game. Initially as written, it was just Jesse, and I'm like, come on, man, you're not doing it right, or whatever. And then um, as we rehearsed it, Greg was like kind of looking at, you know, 
the horse race thing and kind of looking at us and looking at me, he's like, you should get, Bill, you should go behind and show him how to do it, you know, or just take over the thing, you know? And Kristen, you'd be taken with this or, you know, whatever you want to do. And so we just, okay. we went, okay, and we just did that. And then that became the scene, you know, like he kind of trusts it and like try to look for something new and interesting in there and go, oh, that's funny. Um, so it, it's a collaboration. It's not like we're kind of in the moment. I mean, sometimes we're in the moment. I love it when you think it's an auction. <laughs> like, you know, it's like, hey, what And like, that's a, that's a good example of in the moment. Cause I don't think that was rehearsed or anything. You're like, yeah, it's like an auction. But I'm like, no, 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 honey, that, it's an auction. Yeah. <laughs> like, like that stuff. And you're so you're so good with like with her, just like calmly telling her like. Yeah, he's never mean. Like that, that'd be too easy. That's the thing that's great about Greg too. It's like it's too easy to play. Cause a lot of times people like want the rolling your eyes. Big your like, wife. honey. You know what I mean? Like that. Yeah, Greg likes it to be very real and grounded, and and, and it was you know the same way on Super Bad too. Like he just likes things to be like. It's too easy to be big with it, like be, um, another example I brought up well, on Superbad where I got mad, when I would come in and McLovin's in bed with a girl and I'm mad at him and, and I played it real angry, kind of like we we're talking about like, oh, I'm mad or whatever and Greg was like, no man, you're hurt, like play it hurt, play it real, like don't try to be funny, like play it real, like you're really hurt at, you're, you, he's your friend and he ran away. And it made it like a kajillion times funnier, <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's kind of the genius of Greg Matola. Like I was like, oh, that's a good, thank you. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, I knew this was, like, it's like the thing where you go, oh, this isn't working. I know this isn't working. Why is this not working? You know what I mean? And that's, um, and that's when Greg can step in and say, just be real, just be sad. Just, you, he, he pissed you off. You know? I like that. It's good. I think no. it was more of just trying to figure out who they were from with Greg, and we just thought it. We didn't want to have a yeah. typical married um, yeah. relationship, I guess. Like they seem like just kind of like an interesting team. Yeah, and you could tell that they will be together forever, yeah. and uh, they'll probably work at the park forever. Yeah. Um, we also had Kristen was saying um, one of the backstories that they're super rich. No one knows that. <laughs> it's like they're like loaded. It's like just don't want to do with the money. Um, uh, which I thought was funny. And in the winter we're. Uh, and winter in the winter we're swingers. Yeah. That's our job. <laughs> we swing. Professional. Swinging um, for money. So you went to key parties for research. We would yeah. have key parties. Yeah. We had key at parties. The, at their huge mansion. At a huge mansion. <laughs> um, no, but yeah, no one. In, I mean, it's one of those things. Yeah, you like. I, were you guys at the screen last night? It's yeah, kind of thing is the night. thing of like you put a big mustache on somebody. It's like there's only one direction you can really go. <laughs> you're kind of like okay. I say like it is. It's weird. You get in wardrobe and you kind of look at yourself in the mirror and you go, okay. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I know exactly who this guy is. <laughs> High waisted <laughs> acid wash jeans and I have all of a sudden. But it was funny how we just kind of yeah. It's 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 weird. It's like you don't think about it. You don't talk about. It, you just kind of get in a rhythm. And you're kind of just, and you have a good director like Greg who's kind of going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think, you know, he might say, oh, it's a little too angry. I don't think it's that angry just yet. Like, it might be this. Okay, yeah. And it's like he's just kind of watching you work. And then that stuff just kind of happens. It's never, I mean, I don't know if you agree with it. It's never yeah. conscious. It's not like you're sitting there going, okay, you're going to say the oh, thing yeah. about this thing and then I'll counter with this, whatever. It's just like, just, and just do it. Actually, like, figuring out what the character was going to be was actually kind of a challenge for me. I was like a little nervous because he gave so much um he gave us so much input it was literally like we just email like think about how you want her to be and what do you think and that you know it's it's nerve-wracking because yeah. you want to like say the right thing you don't want to show up and just do this character and have him be like ooh, we have made a mistake with this one <laughs> well the um, frosted blonde feathered hair it was good the whole 80s look was Oh, uh, the clothes and the and the makeup. And I've seen like the so big good. the socks was what brought the me back. I remember wearing the socks as a kid. Yeah, the big socks and um, I've seen jams, the shorts. tree torns. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was a cross between Oingo Boingo and Journey. Yeah. What well, the uh, what's the oh my gosh the, the new shoes song. Uh, oh. What's that song? It's in the movie. They played it last night. Oh, I'm going crazy. I don't remember. New shoes. Greg would know. Where's Greg? One more question. Okay. He's coming soon. Okay. He's He'll know this name of the song. <laughs> Even in the movie. Um, I was wondering, um, 
in terms of doing SNL and doing films, is it's always amazing watching baby, you guys. I can't wait. That song. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 that song reminds me of 1987. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was on the heck of my time. You have to get it out. Once, yeah. it, once it comes up, you have to get it out. Baby, but it's I can't wait. That song reminds me of swimming in a pool at the age of nine. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Right. SNL now and um, yeah, a couple of movies coming out. Okay. Um, Mike Judge's new movie, Extract, mm -hmm. and um, Whip It, the roller derby movie that Drew Barrymore directed, is coming out sometime. Soon. Uh, <laughs> I have Night at the Museum too. Um, I play General Custer. Um, I ride a motorcycle. And then, Do you actually ride it? No. Oh shit! I shouldn't have said that. I wish I. No, wait. We did. No, I don't. <laughs> uh, I forgot. Uh, no, that wasn't filmed. I wrote it personally. <laughs> um, That's pretty cool. And then uh, the movie Nailed. I have a small part in Nailed, which is a David O. Russell movie. Oh, I'm so excited for that. And um, and then Greg Matola and I are working on this thing called Dog of the South, which is based on a Charles Portis book um, that we're adapting, and hopefully we'll do that. Excellent. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. You guys are very nice.